Hello folks, time for another video and shave. Alrighty, you know, I just started my video and my counter already is soaking wet just for me prepping for the shave. I'm such a slob. Alright, well today, like the title said, Cube 2.0. What the hell are you talking about, Glenn? Alright, well first off, you guys know that I uh, usually prep with the cube, now it's about this big. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's usually a little bit bigger than this. And she also sits on what's called the cube dock. Mine is a little dirty. I actually got to clean that off. <laughs> I'll actually wipe that off now over here. And there's just a cool little, nice acrylic little dock it sits on with little rubber feet. Now, I have backup cube, or should I say cubes, which after I bought my first cube, they're so inexpensive. They're like, you know, $5.95. And the cube dock was, uh, actually when I bought my first cube, I bought it with the dock. I think it was only $9 for the set. And that's the cube dock all nice and clean. It just keeps the cube in a nice place. Anyway, I don't want this to turn into a Phoenix artist and accoutrement ad. But, so I do have a backup cube for my other cube. Still sealed. And I buy the non-mentholated one. And I also have the tube. Which is basically just a travel version of the cube. Well, Douglas came out with the new cube. Which, I think is based, I think he said, on the new CK6 formula. Um, and now it's the cube 2.0. And it comes in this cool box. And by the way... I'm like late to the party on this one. Everybody and their brother did a video on this already, but you know, I gotta follow suit because it just it actually just arrived today. In fact, it's late in the day. It's very late in the day. But I was also waiting on an Amazon order that was back, not back order, but they lost my order like a few days ago. Amazon's been really crummy with me lately with uh, ordering. But anyway, my Phoenix order came in, and this thing is huge compared to the old one. I mean, this is the uh, the regular cube, and you can just see this one is so much bigger. It kind of, I don't know if you can kind of see the size difference there. And it's got this cool little embossed logo on it there. It says the cube, the original cube. So I'm going to shave with this beast today instead of, open up, instead of opening up this cube. Or, I've used the tube once or twice before, but I'm going to use that big monster today. Also... Let me go over. So, I was telling you about my Amazon woes. <laughs> so, I ordered a replace or more because I was running low. Just some Old Spice, still in the packaging. Just Old Spice cream. Because I love that to shave just, you know. It's a cheap, inexpensive. I shouldn't say cheap because it's not really cheap, cheap. It's inexpensive. Anyway, I also ordered, because I don't know if you guys remember, I broke my little spatula. About a week or two ago, I ate a nice little plastic spatula that my uh, my granddaughter gave me. This cube is huge. <laughs> but yeah, it does fit on the cube dock. And it does have a little bit of room on there. Anyway. Well, anyway, I broke my little spatula. Um, so when I was on Amazon ordering like little peripherals here and there, I found this cool uh, this little brand called Panna. And there's actually a hundred... <laughs> in here. Hundred little of these little makeup spatulas which work great for the which work great for the soaps. So today by the way the soap I'm gonna use in case you haven't read the description I'm gonna use one of my favorites was Club Guy and I actually scrape some out of the tub. Usually I, I lather up in this tub but I said I'll bowl lather today try out my new makeup spoon and this is the old coconut butter formula butter for me. So it would be great. I'm using the, the new cube today. So we'll see how that slickens up everything. And I have that some of that club guy in the bowl here. Just been soaking while I uh, hopped in the shower rather late today. My mailman and UPS was late, but I knew they were going to be late because they've been late lately. And I was actually on the phone with Amazon today saying, my order better get here today because 
you guys have been messing up my orders. All right, so I'm gonna use my true and trusty Rockwell 6S on plate four. And you're gonna be like, oh no, not the Rockwell again. But you know, when I'm testing out stuff, I always resort to this anyway, because I have about I have about 12 razors sitting there, but this is, I love the way this shaves, especially on plate four. And of course I have the chroma blade in here, because I, you know, fallen in love with this chroma blade. You know, I have like three million different kind of blades in there to try. Anyway, so brush, I'm going to use the Atomic Rocket today from PAA. Might as well keep it all in the family, right? And I'll wet the face. I do have a little bit of some bumps from the other day, but hopefully I won't destroy those too bad. Yeah, so I'm like the hundredth YouTuber to do a video on this cube. So, sorry. <laughs> I know you've seen it before, but I haven't tried it yet, so... I didn't even know it was coming out. It was, must have been a big, big trade secret there. This thing is big. <laughs> yeah. That's what I call a cube. That is a good sized cube. Well, like I said, it does fit on the dock. It leaves a good quarter inch around each corner. Each side, I mean. And my cube is, I ordered it non-mentholated because I'm not a giant menthol fan. I like a little bit of menthol, but usually like the menthol in my aftershave or my star jellies or bombs. Just a little bit of menthol. But my cube is straight, non-scented. All right, so I'll just let that soak in. It is slick. So was the original cube, but this is pretty slick. Pretty slick too. Gonna let a little bit of water out of my sink. I kind of overfilled it a little bit today. Alrighty. So while this is kind of soaking in, I'll grab my timeless bowl and my atomic rocket brush with oh did I tell you what kind of soapy a club guy. I'm losing my mind. That's as I'm waiting for somebody to come busting in through this door because it is the weekend and the kids are home and my granddaughter's got all her new school friends over. Like I says, I don't know why they come to my house. My house is the smallest around. But I guess they like hanging out here because we give them privacy and we don't yell at them and stuff like that. Kids need to be kids. And of course my wife is out shopping. Mmm, club guy. For folks who don't know what club, the scent of club guy is, it's Douglas's homage to Clubman, but it's more of a barbershop-y kind of scent in my book. It's a great scent. In fact, the star jelly is my go-to for when I shave with another brand soap and I want to put a bomb or jelly on I always I always go up for the uh, the club guy star jelly which I do have for the shave I'm sorry the, cl the cl club guy for this yes I was gonna say clubman but it's not clubman it's club guy by PAA yeah so I guess I couldn't be trusted for a heads up on the old Cube 2.0. Because <laughs> it's funny, because all of a sudden I saw all these reviews and I'm like, I never even heard of the, the new Cube coming out. But I saw Douglas's live video the other day and I immediately ordered it. It was inexpensive, so I was like, I mean, I don't have 
ex that kind of expendable money, but it was inexpensive. So I was like, and my other cube was getting low. Even though I do have backup cubes, but I wanted to see what this 2.0 cube was about. Got a little of that water that splashed up on my eye. That's okay. Alrighty. So, go with the Club Guy soap with the atomic rocket. I hear my cat wanting to come in. Yeah. It's either the kids or the cat. Club Guy is one of my go-tos. It's always up on my rack there. With my Sterling Almond Cream. Those are one of my two uh, kind of go-tos. Even though I love Organism 46B, the problem with Organism 46B is I don't want to use it all. And I'm getting kind of low. And maybe one day there'll be a CK6 formula of that, but... Oh my god, the cat is so loud. And of course you can tell how that lathers up, that's awesome. Alrighty. I got that on my nose. All right. So, go with the Rockwell 6S Chroma Blade, plate number four. That's our first use on that Chroma Blade. <clears throat> And it's on plate number four, as you see there, if you can see that. Wow, that is smooth. That is definitely smooth. Especially with that combination of the new cube and uh, the club guy. Tell you what, for me it's kind of getting a little depressing because the end of summer, you know, is here and I always kind of feel a little bummed when the summer ends. I'm not a seasonal kind of shaver, so I enjoy all scents all year round. And I'm pretty much a bay rum kind of guy, and I like my scents sweeter anyway. Smooth stuff. I actually been missing this combination with the Chroma Blade and the Rockwell. probably get this video up tomorrow not today because it is late I mean the Sun is still up but I still have to go through that editing process even though I don't edit much but but it'll get up there it 
it's not like in, it's an exclusive product to shave because, like I said, I've seen a couple, a bunch of YouTubers already shave with the Cube 2.0 already. And if you're familiar, if you've seen my older videos, you'll see I've always been using the regular Cube. Not every shave, but I shave with it. I use the Cube as a pre-shave a lot. In case I didn't mention that, it is a pre-shave. Just maybe taking it for granted that some people already know what it is, but I have gotten a couple of emails that I, in the past that has actually asked me what uh you know what is this cube and I always send them the link to Phoenix's uh, website there. Residual slickness is awesome on that club guy ver and also that cube shave and I got plenty of soap so but I mean it's slick like whew. like an ice skating rink slick Club Guy's got such a great scent. And we'll just go against the grain a little bit. Even though I kind of do a little bit of that with my first pass. My first pass is kind of a little bit of everything. I shaved my way. You know, you can shave your own way. That's what's awesome. You can, there's no set rules that you have to shave a certain way. Whatever is comfortable for you. Just because certain YouTubers shave this way or that way doesn't mean that you have to. We just make these videos as a quick little guide to, you know, for the wet shavers. I make these videos just because they're very therapeutic for me. And then I'm kind of still recuperating from having heart surgery and whatnot. And kidney stone surgery and... Gives me something to do. My parents totally don't get it. My wife is still a little like, you making videos on shaving? <laughs> but she sees when I watch other guys shave. I'm like, you know, hon, I'm like, watch Jill. Jill's a woman and she shaves, but my wife shows no interest in that either. She still shaves with the old cartridge. I'm trying to get my son into shaving, but he's 14 and he definitely could, uh, we definitely could start because he's got that little bit of fuzz coming out. <laughs> I think when I started I was 13 or 14 back in the day. Wow. Still so much slickness. I think, uh, let me just check real quick. Just a little bit there. But 
Even though I didn't look to have any lather on my face, but I still have plenty of slickness. Matter of fact, I think I am. Oh, yeah. I got a little bit right there, but there's always that one spot or two. All right. Definitely going to stop it there because I'll shave until you see bone. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to empty the sink. Just give the rock roll a quick little bit. Rinse off there. Clean my razors every shave. Don't want to have any grungy looking razors. Doesn't take much if you clean them every time. Use a little bit of wipe down. I mean, I use the I use a Q-tip in the threads there, and I Q-tip inside the uh, lather channels. But try to keep it, you know, as clean as I can so I don't have a lot to clean up when I do clean my razors. So I don't have to sit there with the toothbrush and scrub it. A Q-tip and a little microfiber cloth and I am good to go when it goes to cleaning. There's the cube dog just sitting there. Where's my regular towel? Ah, I am so bad with that. Falls on the floor. Finally grab one of my shaving towels. I was trying to get this video kind of done before anybody got home because everybody was out all day today. But I knew that the postman and uh, because uh, my Phoenix order came via post office and my Amazon order came uh, via Amazon, their own, whatever, you know, they use their own uh, delivery service there. I knew they were going to be late because I got the notification. It My order didn't go off for delivery till like this afternoon. And I was like, oh, well. So I'm just wiping off my cube dock. And putting a cube on there. And you can see there's room. There's room left on there. My big fingers are in the way. But you'll see that there's still room on the cube dock for the, big, for the new big cube. I believe it's a half a pound. Pretty beefy. <laughs> Compared to the little the little guy that I had left there. I'll still use that up. I'll probably just use the little guy on the uh on my uh off-camera shaves. But lately all my shaves have pretty much been on camera just because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> and I figure, you know, I have a handful of viewers who kind of well we send me great messages and you know enjoy my shaves or you know which I feel pretty good about that because then it gives other people something to do watch my videos even though they're kind of goofy and they're about shaving oh you know what came in my Amazon order the other day which I was talking to you guys about where did I put it give me one sec oh there it is okay now the other day I mentioned to you guys about I was you know, on Amazon and I have a lot of Panat stuff, but I never saw this Dragon Noir or Dragon Noir from Panad. This came in the other day, and let me tell you, I'm not sure about this because huh, this has got a weird scent. I'm not sure if it's for me yet. I'm not going to use it with this shade because it definitely doesn't go with Club Guy. But I'm just going to read you real quick the notes. It's very complicated on it. That's why I actually had to go and check out the uh, the scent profile. They're saying that this Dragon Noir, some people say it's kind of like Dracar Noir, but no way. My son wears Dracar Noir. It does not smell like that. But they're saying that it's a sophisticated and complex masculine scent which begins with pineapple, rosemary, and basil, blending into softer notes of lavender, gardenia, violet, and mirth. The ending notes are rich, robust, masculine scents of clove, oak moss, musk, and tonka bean. And of course, it's by Clubman. But let me tell you something. It's, for me, it's a little funky. 
and I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use to when I finally do use this, but I did pick this up and funky. Just thought I'd mention that because that's what also came with my other Amazon order. Not to tread on this awesome Phoenix Artisan accoutrement shave. All right, so just to recap real quick, that was the Cube 2.0 as my pre-shave. Comes in this cool box. It's a half a pound of goodness. And the soap I used was Club Guy, also by PAA. And Razor, of course, was my Rockwell 6S with Chroma Blade. I'll go over that in a second. And Brush was the Atomic Rocket, which I still got plenty in there, as you can see there. And you'll see how awesome that soap is. PA soap is great. I mean, it's... I'm just beyond peaky. Even, like I says, even their older formula, Coco, the Coco Butter formula, still an awesome formula. I have also their CK6 formula in some soaps. I use them both. I'm not one of those guys who are like, oh my God, they have a new formula, so I'm only going to use the new formula. No, I'm not like that. Their old formula was great. Even going back to the older formula when it was how to grow a mustache and the old Crown King formula. They were still great formulas. Sorry, just rinsing out my brush here real quick. I know some people hate it when I run the water. This is a synthetic brush anyway, so it it cleans up really nice got that great soft knot in it and make sure I get the logo right again because I have a tendency to put these upside down because I'm blind as a bat sometimes alrighty well, there it goes the atomic rocket and I still got some of that club guy in my bowl, I'll just rinse it out real quick while my face dries up anyway. I was gonna break out my big Phoenix, uh, I don't have the big, big Phoenix shuttle, the Moonscape, but I do have the original scuttle. But I feel I just throw up my townless bowl, it's nice and light, and I don't need that warm lather anyway. So that was a timeless bowl. Got the great ridges in there and cool timeless logo. Does a great job. All right, so to finish this awesome shave, oops, just dropped it there. I'm gonna use the Club Guy Star Jelly. Which is an awesome way to end the shave. I was kind of hoping that that Clubman was like a dragon's blood kind of scent, but no way. It's weird. I'm not sure yet if I even like it. When it came in, I put a little bit, I rubbed them on my, on my hands, and it was a little funky for me. But maybe I'll find a soap I can pair it up with. This definitely was not the scent to use for that. That's why I have the the Club Guy Star Jelly. Makes the skin feel great. All right, so that was Club Guy Star Jelly. Perfect pairing, of course, with the Club Guy soap. Can't go wrong with that. And my guess is I found those little things on Amazon. Maybe I'll leave a link for these little things. But it smells a little funky too. When you open it up, it's like, ooh. But in case anybody's interested in these little soap scrapers, they're kind of tiny. But, you know, they do the job. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, and the Chroma Blade in there. I think I, you guys know what that looked like now. That's the Chroma Blade. That was in my Rockwell Success. And uh, that's it. That was a great shave. So yeah, I approve on the old Cube 2.0. It's definitely a beast. She's big. Thank God she still fits in the spot where I had her. 
All right, folks. So if you uh, enjoyed my video, thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, thumbs down. And if you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. There's that cool little icon there, a little logo on the bottom there that says subscribe. And once you subscribe, if you hit the bell, you'll be notified of my next video. And until then, Glenn signing off.